There's a need-based shortage of 900,000 midwives globally, and according to the WHO, this shortage will increase to 1 million by the year 2030. As a result of this, the need to protect, support, and invest in the nursing and midwifery profession is at the fore of discussions at this year's 2022 International Day of Midwife and Nurses Week. Temi Balogo reports. Nurses and midwives form a chunk of the medical profession and remain at the center of patient care. But despite the critical role they play, there are concerns over the manpower needs of this section of the health workforce. <laughs> These leaders in the Nursing and Midwifery Association are seeking more investment in both professions in order to reverse the trend of challenges plaguing the health sector and to improve and strengthen the healthcare system. Universal health coverage and sustainable development good in Nigeria will continue to be a mirage unless the nurses and midwives are made to be recognized and given due recognition and compensation. By this celebration, we call on government to invest on the need to protect, support and invest in nursing profession to strengthen the health system. The shortage of midwives made life difficult. The available few midwives have worked for long hours in respective community. Many working are understaffed, poorly equipped facilities, causing them to risk their life while saving precious lives. Investing in midwives will ensure improved reproductive health and services. One million newborns die after birth and 2.5 million are stillbirths due to preventable causes. Motivation is an essential component of performance which is fundamental to driving every human function. Therefore, government and stakeholders, Federal Minister of Health, Minister of Labor and Employment, Office of the Head of Service, National Salaries, Income and Wages Commission and other key players are called. To listen to the nurses. This group believes that if these issues are not tamed, more lives could be lost, and when addressed, it will help in the reduction of maternal and child morbidity and mortality rates in the country. In Nigeria, one nurse caters for the needs of 40 to 60 patients, but the global standard requires that it's one nurse to four patients, and this group is advocating that Nigeria reverses to the global standard. Kemi Balogun, TVC News, Abuja.